Welcome to the third biannual AFRISAM SAI Award for Sustainable Architecture. And of course, hosted in this beautiful venue, which is the Johannesburg City Library. We start the part, started the partnership uh, back in 2009 when we started having discussions with the South African Institute of Architects or SAIA as we generally refer to it and we, see an, we saw an opportunity at the time to work with them uh, to create something uh, which will sort of inspire architects, engineers and people that think differently to design buildings that are more sustainable in terms of uh, future energy use and so forth. The range of projects that were submitted were sometimes a house, sometimes a very large building, sometimes a community centre. So changing the mindset, the fact that you could, for an example in a large office building, you could change the mindset for somebody who was just one of 2,400 people. They could say, well, if I went home and maybe if I did some recycling or I planted a vegetable garden that didn't need to be that big. So it's about changing the mindset across the whole of society because some of the buildings were big and some of them were small. So yeah, about changing mindset generally. Coordinating and participating in this year's AFRISAM SAYA Awards for Sustainable Architecture not only afforded me a mind-invigorating opportunity, but also presented a rare occasion for an almost remorseful reflection on the negative impact our building industry has caused to the planet Earth. At SAYA, we cannot express loudly enough our honor and gratitude for the continuous partnership we enjoy in hosting this awards program with AFRICEN. It is through this initiative that mind shifts are made in the way that we approach our profession to ensure the legacy we leave is sustainable and a credit to our generation. But there's a couple of things that you have to bear in mind. First of all, we are seven billion people living on planet Earth. The sustainability experts tell us that we consume resources equivalent to one and a half the planet. In other words, this thing is not going to work forever. If you then take to, into consideration further that the number is going to increase to nine billion and that people will move from, urban area, uh, from uh, country areas to urban areas, it's going to be even more of a problem. So for sure, in terms of the future, they need to be a change. The change will be slow and we have seen a number of buildings uh, already moving forward and if we look at the quality of the entrance uh, in terms of this specific uh, competition, it has improved, it's increased, there's a lot of enthusiasm and we think it's moving. The Afri AFRISAM SAI Award. It is a great honor to ask the team from Paragon Architects and Paragon Interface to join us today to receive the award for the new design of Forbes, headquarters in London, Houston, this street center. The systematic vision of public buildings built by the people for the people with local materials empowering them to participate in their local economy. It is a huge honor to welcome Richard Stretton from Cool Design from the research project for Gazette, developing systems for the delivery of an alternative program. In conclusion, Mahatma Gandhi said many, many years back, the future is created by what we do today. And I think what we see around us uh, paints a clear situation for us going forward into the future. I would like to use this opportunity to also thank all of the contributors that presented projects, very commendable projects, 
uh, to this specific uh, round of uh, awards. And I would also like to take the opportunity to congratulate the winners and those that uh, get recommendations. Enjoy the rest of the evening and travel safe. Thank you so much.